So a little birdie told me that you guys enjoy PR hauls. My husband made me a little drink and he's actually taking care of the kids right now. So I figured why not show you guys a few of the PR packages I received this week. I received more than this, but I kind of like dove into it already because I really wanted to try them. And some of them are beauty boxes. So of course, whatever's left off is what I'm gonna show you guys right now. Some of these are just uh, big. I have all of this going on and at that there are several items i'm really excited for so i'm going to show you guys right now just in case you guys don't know prr products that are sent to influencers so that they can try review see if they like or not and then recommend to their viewers so basically everything i got here i got for free in the past few days and no my reviews are not swayed based on whether I got the product for free or not. I always keep it 100. I'm gonna set these over to the side because it's taking up all the space and um, the boxes are really big, but they're so exciting. And no worries, I will be linking all of these products down below. Some of the links will be affiliate links, some of them will not be, but I like to be as fully transparent as possible. The first package is from BK Beauty, and I did open her already, okay, because I was so excited. They have extended their core line, which is exciting. There are nine brand new brushes. And you guys know exactly how I feel about PK Beauty brushes. They have become my number one hands down favorite brushes in terms of the quality and how soft they feel. They're just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning brushes. They released five new face brushes and four new eye brushes as a side note the brush that you guys see me bronze with all the time happens to be the 101 this is really a foundation brush but the brushes are so soft and so beautiful that you can pretty much multitask them and they work just as well with any product really i like to use this for my cream bronzer it's just beautiful so just in case you're wondering the bronzing brush i've been using is the 101 by bk beauty and she is absolutely beautiful I love that BK Beauty released a mini version of that brush. This is their mini contoured foundation brush. It is their 109. Again, this is one of their newer brushes. Let me turn her around so you guys can see her. I am so excited to use her. I'm definitely going to use her for all over the face, but I think I want to multitask it and use it for under the eye because of its shape. It's just beautiful. And again, she has a little bit of an angle, so it's not too crazy. It's not super dense, but it's not super loose either. It's just, it's just, stunning it's stunning it's stunning okay i'll show you the other face brushes then we have the 111 the 112 113 and 110 new and for the eyes is the 209 210 211 and 212. Thank you so much to BK Beauty for sending over their new collection. And guys, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you do. Try to get one of the kits, try to get a single brush. Just start off small if you have to. The holidays are coming, add it to your wish list. I promise you, I have not seen that one person say anything negative about these brushes. And a lot of my viewers, a lot of my subscribers have actually purchased the brushes and are obsessed with the brushes as much as I am. So I'm so happy. I feel like Christmas came early. Thank you. I totally just opened an Ofra box and then realized that there's an item that I can't show you guys quite yet. No, it's not a collab. Do not get excited. I do not have a collab with Ofra, at least not yet. But it is an item that I can't feature because it hasn't launched yet. So I'm going to show you guys what they sent over uh, that I can actually show you guys right now. So we have the Meat Green Screen, and it is a green liquid lipstick. Its name is, what are they calling you? It's called Green Screen. So basically, this is really cool. So you know how you would typically um, film a video, or like there's green screens when you're filming a video, or in movies there's a green screen, and then eventually you can take that green screen out and put whatever background you want. Well, you can technically do that with this lippy. And of course, I'm gonna create a Reels doing that for you guys so that you guys can kind of see how that is. And I'm gonna try to get creative. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, we're, I'm, I'm looking forward to like um, working on this next week, but this is different. It's fun, it's exciting. I'm excited. This is so different. Okay, so they ended up sending this baby. By the way, I do have a discount code. It's an affiliate code, but I have a code with Ofra, and you can get a discount on any purchase on literally everything, even kits, bundles, 
limited editions, holidays, sets, all of that, you get a discount at Ofra. This already launched, so if you wanted to snag this for fun, you can totally snag it and get it at a discounted rate. And then they sent over some of their, I'm trying to open it, I was not prepared for the Ziploc bag. Okay, hold on. So they sent over some of their fan faves which will be creating a look with these products. So they sent over their Starlit Collection Liquid Highlighter. This one is in the shade Monroe. That's the color right there. They sent over the liquid lipstick in Atlantic City. You guys know I love the liquid lipsticks. And then they sent over their mascara, which, listen, if you haven't tried her, you absolutely need to. I tried it here on like the channel for you guys i've shown you how it works it is one of my favorites like i dumped a lot i did a declutter on my mascaras behind the scenes because i just really needed to do it that's one of the mascaras that i made sure that i kept and once it dries out i make sure i get it back up it's that good next i got a package from refreshments this one is like fresh because i haven't opened her yet <laughs> I don't know what it is. I know that Ipsy, you know, Ipsy owns refreshments. So they sent this over my way for me to try, reveal, show you guys. I believe these are like new products. That box is super cool, right? So you get your refreshments bag as per news. By the way, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button down below. It's a little red rectangular button while you're there. Hit the notification bell, selecting all notifications. That way YouTube lets you know every single time I upload a brand new video and or provide an update over on my community page. Please make sure you hit the like button. It really, really helps me out. It tells YouTube I like her vibe, I like her content, I like her channel, and you should recommend it to people who have the same interest as you and I do. If you hit the like button, I wanna thank you in advance. You have no idea how much it helps me out. All right, so when it comes to refreshments they sent over a cleansing face balm you guys already know like the typical refreshments packaging but these are like supposed to be like new releases Ay, que bonito. so you get a little oh, it's upside down it's a little uh tin can tin not can it's a container a tin container cleansing balm it's it doesn't really say what fragrance okay so we'll just this fell out of it because i was not prepared for that it's not fragranced. I don't smell nothing. I mean, it's a good thing, right? Because a lot of people don't like fragrance, but I honestly thought I saw like butterflies. I thought I would like smell a little floral. I'm not mad at it. I love me a cleansing balm. I have a few stocked up because I wear makeup literally every single day of the week. Sometimes I wear like makeup twice a day. Like I will take my makeup off and then start all over again if I'm like pre-filming. So it's a lot. So I need cleansing balms to make sure my skin is in tip top shape. And then they sent over two lip balms. Are these fragranced at least or scented or flavored or something? So they're called the Kissalicious Lip Balms. The bottom one is the one that has the yellow and it is the sweet mint. Oh, and then the top one is caramel swirl. Is the packaging different? Is the packaging the same? Don't know, say, let's figure that out. Hold on, hold on. The um, caramel swirl one has your signature lavender packaging. And then the, 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 I was gonna say the, the mint one has a yellow i you know what let's see what the applicator loogie like it's one of those like little lip balms you squeeze out kind of go like this and then do one of those listen i can't complain about lip balms anymore i don't know what happens but i i i moved to florida and my lips are like the worst they're so freaking dry it's disgusting all the time all the time okay so i got a few items from bare minerals they sent over a few goodies which i'm really excited about articolo numero uno happens to be a lipstick this is their lang la lang la la i don't know why i'm i'm thinking a different name i'm sorry it is their mineralist lasting matte liquid lipstick in the shade lucky is it weird that i haven't really tried any of their like lippies this is pretty shade it's supposed to be matte i know i have like a nude on <gasps> It's a little peachier than what I have on. Notice the difference between the bottom and the top. I haven't put it at the top yet. So the one at the top is like neuter, like a more like creamy brownie nude situation. And then the bottom one just has a little hint, a little kiss of pink. I love me a little kiss of pink. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, girl. That's pretty. I like her, okay? So I like that color. I don't know about the formula. We'll wait and see what happens. I'll try her a little more here and there oh it's drying down surprised yes very mucho then we have the bare minerals lasting lip liner in striking a spice the lip liner i have on right now is the dragon beauty 
2.0 cc's because you all know I've always loved her and then I kind of like set her aside for my P. Louise But then I felt bad after filming a video today saying like, You know that I've been neglecting her so I ended up like just reapplying that I like this I like that you're able to see what the color of the lippy is throughout the entire packaging from beginning to end not just like the little tip because if it's like this in a lip liner or pencil holder or like this you're able to see like in actuality what the shade is let's swatch her on the back of my hand i feel like this shade is gonna go so well with this lippy that i have on but i really like the darker lip liner on so i'm gonna leave it on but that's cool and it's supposed to be a really long wear lip liner okay bare minerals you know it's sad because i haven't tried a lot of bare minerals product like the last that i recall that i actually tried was like when bare minerals was actually like starting at first and they would only like they literally only had the loose potted concealer color correctors and like foundations and that just didn't work for me so i'm excited i'm getting an opportunity to try more of their products then i have the bare minerals Bare Pro 16 Hour Skin Perfecting Powder Foundation. They sent it over in medium 32, cool. Vamos a ver. I'm not really like big on powder foundations because I truly have not found many that worked for me. And there may be one or two, but none that really stands out like right now. Like if I'm put on the spot, I can't say, oh, this one, you know what I mean? But I'm always open to trying powder foundations cause you never know, you'd be surprised. So the packaging looking like this, she looking like that. It's nice and simple, simple, simple and sleek and oh no. Well, this kind of sucks, guys. She's broken. Oh no, she's falling apart. She's broken like my soul right now. I mean, I'm gonna still film a video. I'm gonna do reels with this. Why does that look like a really good color match? You guys, that looks really good. Okay, it doesn't matter that she's broken, she still works, okay? She's got little cracks and stuff going on. It's fine, we're still gonna use her. And let me see, do they? Yes, and then you have a little applicator, a little sponge applicator underneath. I'm gonna leave her there. It cracked, but it wasn't bad enough to where it's unusable. I can still use her, I'm so excited. And it does look like a really good color match for me. I don't know if I'm gonna love her, but I know for sure I'm excited to try it. You guys, I have so much powdered foundation, like cracked pieces of it all over. This vanity, it's disgusting at this point. Like I, I'm doing one of these. I'm surprised my shirt doesn't have a lot of like the fallout from the packaging. Next we have a package from Gerard Cosmetics. I love them, I love their products. You guys know I love their products. I don't know how I ended up sitting and not actually like opening it as soon as it got here. Then again, Cam has been sick, so that's probably why, being honest. Um, So let's see what we have. Oh, oh, I knew it. Mm, mm. Mm. I have a link for Gerard Cosmetics down below as well as a discount code. You need to go snag these. I'm so excited for them. You guys know how much I love lashes and they finally launched lashes. You can also snag a lash applicator from Gerard Cosmetics. If you do not have one of these already, they do come in handy. If you don't want to use tweezers, tweezers can be sharp. So if you're not used to tweezers, you can poke yourself in the eyeball and that's not sexy. So a little applicator like this would be cool. And if you're going to shop lashes on Gerard Cosmetics' website, this is a great like addition to your order. And then we have the Gerard Cosmetics Lash Liner Glue. You guys know how much I love liner glues, okay? Liner glues, and the only reason why I haven't used these is because they've dried out. Since they've dried out, I've had to resort to like actual glue glue. So I'm excited that they sent this over my way. It looks like it's a black one. It is black. So I get to try her and wow, that was like one swipe, super, opaque a lot of product i am going to do my little tappy tappy test that i like to do without applying lashes onto it because i want to see what that feels like but they sent over one two three four five six seven eight nine nine they have nine lash styles you guys i'm so excited they have lashes with rhinestones here's another one with rhinestones i'm gonna create a reels with this so that you guys can actually see what they would look like on the eyes and the beautiful part of these kind of lashes is that they will last through several uses so you don't have to just use it once it's not like a one and done dump it you can use these a few times if you take good care of them and the best way to take care of your lashes if you want to use them more than once is make sure you take the glue off when you remove them make sure that when you are applying the lashes for the first time and or every consecutive time you do not apply any product onto it i.e 
mascara, apply your mascara to your natural lashes first and then pop your falsies on and then you should be good to go and that'll help your lashes last a long, long time. These are so cool. I'm so excited for Gerard Cosmetics. And most of these lash styles are styles that I would use on a day-to-day, -day, which is exciting. However, the ones with the rhinestones, I think they're so cool and different. And they came out just in time before the holidays. So if you wanted to glam up a look, this is just a beautiful way to do it. And it's nice and fun. And then the last ones are bottom lashes. I haven't really been a bottom lash person, so I don't really know how I'm gonna feel about these, but maybe the brand that I tried just wasn't it. So I'm willing to try these. That's exciting. And I got a full box of a little Gerard Cosmetics product and it was all new launch. Again, their links and everything are gonna be down below. Check them out, you will not regret it. And while you're there, get the clean canvas. That's the base that I use on my lids. You're gonna be obsessed with them. Let me get one of the big boxes out of the way. I got a package from Pop Beauty and I was not expecting her. Check that out. So from Trick or Treat Halloween Challenge. They sent over, oh God, they sent over an eyeshadow palette and this here is like a little highlighter quad, which is awesome. They sent over a setting spray, a uh, nail polish and a lip product. I feel like I've gotten all of these already. This one is brand new to me. I haven't opened her or anything. I'm gonna set this over to the side, but I wanna show you guys Pop Beauty has beautiful product as well. I might actually create reels with, the, oh God. I might actually create reels with this one here, just because these shades here would be perfect for like the holidays. That would be a lot of fun. Thank you, Pop Beauty. Oh God. The bigger the boxes get, the weirder I get. I'm sorry. Here is my very last tiny package. I have a really big one that I'll leave that one for last. But this is from Aether Beauty. This launched on the 19th. I'm a little late, as so sorry. I love their packaging because everything is like recyclable. There's no waste. And they always send over an awesome little card with uh, obviously like the logo, details on the back. It's really nice. And then, and then we have the eyeshadow palette, which I'm heartbroken because she looks like that she's broke she herself is broken i don't know what i mean i know what happened she broke so you guys know aether beauty products are absolutely stunning their formulas on their eyeshadows are beautiful and they use real stones to create their formulas and their eyeshadows yep yep she's broken okay so um oh god here we go that one right where is she this one right here she's cracked and broken and there's a little, I, I, it's okay. We can still use her. You know, I'm not, I'm not that person that'll say I won't use her because she's broken. We can still use her. It's fine. These shades are beautiful. Look at that. Aether Beauty deserves way more attention. Okay. Like y'all can't sleep on them. Pretty that is. Just simple, quick swipes. I'm reading the card they sent over my way and it says that this is a limited edition manifest palette. It is made with real amethyst and it helps oxygenate skin combat inflammation and improve circulation listen if you're gonna wear makeup anyway why not buy makeup and apply makeup that's good for your skin it also says it is also made with aloe vera a desert cactus plant from tucson with more than 75 actives that is freaking awesome and then they sent over a little <laughs> They sent over an ethically sourced amethyst from Arizona. I love how they always send like little stones. You guys, is that not a beautiful stone? Because of the stone and just the color story of the palette, I am inspired to create like a pinky hued type of look with this palette. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram. You will not regret it. I have reels going up. They're creative, they're fun, they're quick and it just gives you a close-up look to the looks that I create. Now I have even more makeup crumbled up on this table. I'm gonna have to uh, wipe it down again. But here is our very last package, and she came in handy. Let me tell you, like three days ago, I was telling Juan, I kinda don't wanna go to the salon, spend so much money because they've hiked up the prices on just a regular manicure. And eventually they don't even last on me because I get so tired of just seeing my nails a certain way. So I take them off and then we look in like this and my nails are so weak and blah, blah, blah. And I was kinda going on and on and on. And I told them, but I kinda want them to look cute for the holidays. I kinda want to do something on my nails for actual Halloween. So I don't, you know, just simple. And it's so funny because like next thing you know, the very, very next day, this box came in. It is from Kiss. 
which is amazing. They've sent me PR a few times before. Here is their Hot Ghoul Halloween, and it's just a Halloween themed box. So they sent over, let me show you girls, backups of their liner glue. But the thing about it is, is that this one is clear and this one is brown. I have their black one. I didn't have a brown one. They just released a brown one, so that's exciting. So I have backups of the clear and now I have a new one of the brown one. So I get to try that. You know, I don't always want a black liner. Sometimes I want to keep it like fresh and do a brown. That does it for me. That's exciting. And then it's funny because I have this one here and this one is the strip lash adhesive, but it's the white that goes on clear. They sent over the one that goes on black, but it's in theme, so it says Poisons Galore. That's so fun. They sent over two new lash styles I haven't tried before. So they have matte velvet, which is like super dramatic and in your face. Although this might actually work for my Halloween costume that you guys were like, oh yeah, film your Halloween thing. So I feel like I might film my Halloween thing and see it's either this one or this one. I don't know. But one of these will come in handy for my Halloween video, which will go up in a few days, uh, you know, Halloween. And then this one is in tool. Tooly, tool, tool. Do you guys know I love me some kiss lashes? As a matter of fact, these are kiss lashes as well. But here's the here's here's what got me like really pumped. They sent over press-ons. Now these two are styles that are a bit dramatic for me. This one is just really, really, really like girl, these are extra long, okay? So these are a bit much, but they're really pretty. I feel like if I were to apply these. I could always cut them so it'll be fine. Then they sent over these. They're, they actually glow in the dark. They're the fantasy ones. It's really cool. They will glow in the dark. So that's fun. And this is a more like, a, they, these are in long, but it's a desirable length for most people. And then the rest that they sent over are more up my alley. So although these are long, these are definitely styles that I would go for. Call me plain Jane, but I'm more into something like this. Super dramatic, loud, and extra is just, has never really been me i've tried it and i felt so weird so i'm like i've wasted money for no reason but you know simple kind of like very everyday these are for me that's awesome those are in long but if i don't want longs and i want shorts they sent over these two here now these are your basic everyday anybody could wear these and be happy but then if you want a little more i don't know pizzazz or if you want to zhuzh up your nails you can go with this one here it has a little bit of a metallic marbling to it those are cool and then they sent over um this one here which is like more me and i feel like these are might be the ones that i will apply for halloween just for fun these are in black these are in medium and then the other mediums they sent over are dramatico okay you have your swirls you have glitter and then you have matte so each nail will kind of look a little different so here's um here's the thing i feel like this would inspire me to wear blue maybe for new years i don't know we'll see what happens i'll show you guys eventually when i do use them what i pair it up with because of course if you're gonna wear nails like that you have to kind of like make it match with everything else that like you're doing your eyes your hair your clothing your accessories you know who jeez louise Although it was a mini haul, it was a lot of stuff to kind of go through. But I am really excited to have had the opportunity to receive these items to try and play around with. No worries, I will be featuring most of these items here on the channel and or on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on both here on YouTube as well as Instagram. That way you don't miss out on any of the content that I create using new product. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It really, really, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys. Thank you.